stay here. There's only 50 seconds left, and they need to push their way in and demolish four people. Mm. Um, now, there are no roamers, so all four people are on site. There we go. Oni Chan gets down, but he but does get the nade kill beautiful. on Suzu. There we go. A C4 kill out of Odin, and that is Oni Chan being taken down. Mm. They can drop the hatch now and start going for the plant. The only one they have to worry about will be Odin Miso here. He's in the corner, and he's probably not going to last long, but... Oh, there we go. Really, Neil gets there. taken out by Odin on the side. Sweet Black is drunk as well on the side. And there we go. That is MV Taylor being dropped as well. Karzix, though, does take one itself. All of a sudden, it's a 2v1. And there we go. What a clutch. Our arena from above. Yeah, he got in this position. I could see it coming. They weren't watching their flank enough. Um... Our arena what a has play not that was, had a good, a good start to this match. He might he? even get floor banged here. I think Ooh. that's what they want to go for. Look at Prototype. Uh, he's managed to sneak his way all the way in, hasn't yeah, he? Playing so aggressive here. And he's also been joined up by a teammate. Here comes Susie. Just ran right into sight. He has been l it up, but... He can plant, though, right? No, no, not in here. Uh, he has to be in the kitchen. Sorry, yeah, he has to be forward. Yeah. Um, Smoke's coming out, though. Mm -hmm. And their own smoke so much grenades. Smoke. Yeah. Susie could almost just walk in and plant at this point. Yep, it looks like that's there what he's going to do. There he goes, yep. He's going to plant behind the kitchen bench there. Five we'll and five exactly. plant going down. Yep, five and five. No one's died yet. So there comes the C4. Susie did get tagged a little bit. And it actually went down. Mm -hmm. There we go. Prototype's going to be the first kill as Neilo, Neilio picks that up. He actually gets a double kill on uh, Suzy C as well. Meanwhile, Odin has traded back on Neilio as well. And here we go. Envy Taylor has found one as our arena drops. Odin Miso trades him straight back. But Odin Miso gets taken out as well. And Sweet Black takes out Shin. And they're going to get the defuse. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Five on five plant goes down. And then, oh, Havoc breaks loose. Frags going left, right, and center. And ultimately, Mantis coming out on top. And look how excited they are. The little celebration at the end there. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> four on four now. And they've completely slowed it down. But they've wasted so much time just trying to get, grab control here. And so they've given up um, Master Bedroom. Well, Susie, you know. see, that's another one. They have Ein's, it now. Yep, Ein's now in a 3v4 here. As Karzix has gone really low as well. He's been taken even lower, actually. Yep, the planet range. He's going to do the rotate from outside. Oh, that's so good. That's how um, we saw um, Onichan go down, the rotate from outside. Yep. However, he managed to successfully get through. And Nilio could actually be in a bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. It's a four on one. Yep. Soon as you see, guess what? Oh! <laughs> what a beautiful shot by Shin there to finish off the round. Yep. Runs on out with a quick peek. Nice. Very nicely done. Though. I think just the ability to be able to make holes in walls and take out the mm. three hatches and things like that, even as an attacker, yeah. is is pretty good. Because you don't you don't have shotguns on the attacking team. It's like he's almost so, better than Sledge and Buck because he well because he's got that extra ability that isn't just oh oh too busy trying to scan. Sweet Black sends is him this back. Is going to continue? I think so. Mm. Um, Maybe not. Neilio a bit stuck there. He does finally manage to get his uh, way through. And Suzu is in a rather interesting spot here. Yeah. There and, we go. Yeah. Our arena's evened it up. There's Sweet Black going down. Ooh, and Neilio is on the flank. He's in this excellent position. We so often see uh, PD play this position, don't we? Yep. That's a, that's a really good spot. A lot of people don't check it. Oh, he just manages to get out. Although Shin will take out the mirror mm -hmm. as a consolation Open prize. But on the side, Neilio gets the beautiful flank and removes Shin's head. And he's top floor. He's throwing havoc right into this squad. They have no idea where he actually is. <laughs> oh. A nice shot with yep. the shotgun. Only Suzu's gone down. At, right, at the exact right time there. Prototype gets a little bit drunk. He will go back on his drone while he waits. And uh, the, the roam out of... Um, out of Neilio has just been superb. The C4 comes out, mm. just manages to tag him up a little bit. Ararina trying to sneak his way in, but Kazix takes off Prototype's head, and Ararina gets demolished on the side, and Neilio will claim that one. Mm. So it's really important to watch your flank. I, I, that was the deciding factor in that round. Neilio getting up and behind. That's not a hole you can vault through, is it? Oh, it might just be. But Onichan just missing a few headshots. I don't think oh, he can. 
Is he trying to... Oh, no, no, you can. There you go. Okay, I stand say, corrected. He's trying to bait it so he can reinforce when he needs oh, to. But... And from the side, Arena gets taken out by MB Taylor. And another one gets down as that's one... Uh, that was uh, Neilio gets finished off by Suzu. Mm-hmm. I that, thought it was onesie there for a minute, but uh, he was just behind him. Small enough that maybe when you join it, you think, oh, he can't vault through that. Yeah. I think that that's pretty good mind games. As Oni Chan looking a little bit drunk right now. I think he stepped into an Ella mine. As Suzu claims another one as Karzik drops. He has not had a good game so far, has he? Mm -hmm. And it looks like Mantis is setting up for a completely different push, or at least slightly different. We're seeing Oni Chan going down the blue tunnel, gets a frag, walking through barbed wire. Envy Taylor's joined in as well, and this is the raw fragging power we've seen coming out from Mantis. It's all up to Suzu, but no, he's Sweet going to fall. Got his number. Yep, and there we go. That's the first attack in round one, going over to Mantis. Hmm. I suppose really what's happening here uh, of this whole map besides Master Bedroom. Hmm. But Envy Taylor, mate. Oh, getting into a fight with Onesie, both potatoing just a little bit. No one hitting anyone. And they, everyone will just reload, and they'll take another shot at each other. Envy Taylor takes a little bit of damage, and Shin has found Oni Chan and all that, but Envy Taylor gets taken down as he takes his eye off Onesie for just a moment, and Onesie shoots him in. There we go, head. Shin has found one, and that now makes it a two versus five. Irons is looking like they're going to take this very, very dominantly. Mm -hmm. Very similar to how we saw them uh, take this one last time as well. Through oh, the smoke. In the smoke, Suzu gets the headshot. It's now all up to Kha'Zix in a 1v5. This would be good if he could come out on top. However, he will not as he gets cross-fired by Odin Miso. You and talk about attack rounds one, that's another one. That's, yep, so we saw, what, four defensive wins, and now he's had two attacking wins. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Sweet Black's worried from two different angles here. Uh, it definitely seems like he's more worried about uh, the master bathroom. Sweet Black knows it's clear right now, and he knows that he can't leave unless there's a rotate hole into office, which I'm going to presume there is. Yeah, well, they can take the outside path as they've... Uh, Actually, yes, you're right yeah. there. They can take the outside path. So keen to do... But, however, he hasn't. He's staying in Master Bedroom. Sweet Black's going to make his way in. We're going to get into a bit of a fight here at the moment. Shin wins it, removes his head, and Suzu claims a C4 kill on the Kha'Zix. Mm -hmm. I was just praising them for wanting to take, you know, 2v1 duels, and then we see him try and do it without even droning ahead of himself, knowing where his opponent was. Here we go, Sweet Black is down, four on two right now. MV Taylor puts his way through. Suzu manages to take off his head, though, and Onin Miso will claim Oni Chan as well. And that makes it four to three in favor of Ainz. Mm -hmm. So we see Mantis try and adapt to that strat, but you know, they didn't account for the second here layer. as well with the pulse heartbeat sense sensor. I think he spotted out Shin or oh, he's just missing him. No, oh, there he goes. He saw him right then. Mm. They do know he's here. The pulse sen sensor does go away. Just manages to miss his head. And Sweet Black's gonna peak just yeah. as he gets pushed. Yep, and so now he's gonna go back on his uh pulse scanner. But he's getting aggressive here. Ooh. There we go. Shin comes off better, and Oni Chan will go back to the grave. Sweet Black's just gonna blow his C4 and get out of here. But he's got onesie right next to him. Once he did hear the C4 go off. Oh, or he could have thought it was a fake, but you'd really think he'd understand that. But and Shin... Emilio walks straight past Shin as well. And Shin manages to capitalize yeah. on that. And just like yeah, that... There's 20 seconds left, though. They're going to have to start moving in a second. Yep, Sweet Black's already making the rotate to come up from behind, I think. And uh, the C4 comes out from Kha'Zix. It just misses. And oh, Shin gets away with his life. Shin's got nine lives this round, doesn't mm -hmm. he? And... Uh, the plant is going down right now. If he can deny He's it. got. Yes, no, Both. he did it. He got it down in the nick of time. However, Kazik does manage to take out Suzu. Odin Miso, they chase him straight back from that kitchen window. Sweet Black is upstairs. They now know exactly where he is, thanks to that. All they have to do is watch the hatch at the kitchen window and the stairwell, and they will cut him off. Mm, very close. This is to keep themselves in this round. Can Sweet Black do it? He needs to move. Yeah, he's wasting too much time waiting for picks. And he's going to get slaughtered coming straight in. Yep, there we go. That's there the we five. go. And Irons take map number one. Yeah, very successfully so. We spoke about how they, uh, you know, were quite dominant on this hold last time. Not this time. Wow. Irons coming through. 5-3, picking up the attacking round when they needed to.